Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Robinson, and I'm a maxillofacial craniofacial surgeon, and I practice here in Denver. And I'm part of the sleep apnea treatment team here in Denver, and it's a pleasure to talk to you and explain about the maxillomandibular advancement treatment for sleep apnea. Sleep apnea occurs because of blockage in the back of the throat, and typically that's the tongue position as it relates to the soft palate, and in many patients it's because their jaws are too small. But even in some patients when the jaws have a normal facial relationship, there can still be room to advance the face and open the airway. So our surgery, the maxillary mandibular advancement for sleep apnea, allows for an increased tongue position. So it opens the airway during sleep and many patients are able to come off their CPAP. The surgery is done under a general anesthetic and you've already heard the video with Dr. Oakes explaining the principles of why we do this surgery. After the anesthetic, the patient typically will stay overnight in an observation unit the teeth are not wired together, and we're able to advance the mid-face and the lower jaw together to open the airway. Most patients need approximately two weeks of recovery following the surgery. They're not allowed to chew for approximately six weeks. So most patients lose about 10 to 15 pounds, which some people like anyway. Typically, it's not a painful surgery, but there is a moderate amount of swelling and discomfort. So we keep the patients on some pain medicine and some antibiotics for a few days. And uh, then they're allowed to begin some regular activity and then usually returning to work at about two weeks and then workouts at about four weeks. The whole principle of maxillomandibular advancement can be very beneficial. And it's very predictable in how we perform the surgery so that the teeth are no longer wired together and the patient has a faster recovery. We work in a certified surgery center and we're able to provide the procedure safe and consistently. I hope you'll contact us if you think this will be uh, an option for you to help you with your obstructive sleep apnea. Thank you.